best kind of day. New bike day. I wonder if you guys can guess what brand it is. <laughs> now, this is something I've been very, very excited for, for a very long time. And the day is finally here. So that is her out of the box. I really, really just want to take her around the block on a quick spin on this beautiful sunny day. But she is booked in to my workshop service provider, sponsor, have bike in the morning. I'm going to take her there, make sure everything's working. There she is in all her glory, fully, fully built. It is the Willia Rave SLR, which is exclusively their gravel bike. A massive, massive shout out to the kind guys here at Have Bike, who are my workshop service provider, who have once again looked after me, built her up properly, and at the same time are looking after my other bikes, which I've booked in. If you happen to live in London or in the surrounding areas, then please do check out have bike i'll leave the link in the description really really handy if you're very very busy and if you don't have time to go and drop your bike at the bike shop they actually come to you in a van collect your bike bring it back to here hq service it make it look as good as new and then drop it back off to you so as i say check them out now it's just fully built i'm going to get out on the road and talk you through some of the specs what do you think I think it's a beauty. Yeah. It was a pleasure working on it. Uh, good to put it together, work on something fancy. Uh, I think it got some great fun on it. Mate, thank you very much. I can't to wait. Seeing, seeing some clips. Exactly. Exactly. I can't wait. So very, very excited, if it wasn't already obvious, to join the Willia family. Very excitingly for me, that kicks off with this, the Willia Rave SLR. I put a couple of upgrades on it since I last filmed. Let me show you. So the first thing is this out front mount, which is really clever. It bolts underneath, so it's really seamless. And it has a little GoPro adapter on the bottom of it. So I can fit whatever I want to on the bottom there. The other thing are these brand new Shimano XT pedals. Slight upgrade on what I had before. Don't hate at me mix matching Shimano and SRAM. I've also fitted this uh, tail fin skewer because because very, very soon I'm off with this bike on a bikepacking adventure, which I haven't told you guys about. Very, very excited. It's going to be with a few mates in Germany. We're doing it properly. We're fully camping without tents. Um, and so this bike is going to be kitted up with all the bikepacking setup, and I cannot wait to kit it out. But first, let me run you through some of the specs. Because of some of the adventures I have planned this year, I really wanted quite a specific bike. And this one really does tick all the right boxes for me, being very stiff, very light, very racy, and very similar to my road bike setup, which is what I was after. As you can see, it's set up with, and let me try and get this right first time because it is a bit of a mouthful, SRAM's Force ETAP Explore Access Group Set. The disc brake version, obviously, one by on the front, gets rid of the need for a front mech. Something new before, I've not experimented with that system before. First impressions, really, really good, super comfy on the shifters, and obviously 12 speed, meaning you get that extra gear on the back, uh, also meaning other wheels that I have, I need to convert them all so that they work with now 12 speed versus 11 speed. Obviously being a gravel bike, that is the gravel specific group set. Uh, you can, however, I think get this bike as a road setup with, with road group sets. That brings me on to the wheel set here, which come with the awesome Mish Graf wheels, which are a full carbon setup, really, really nice. And if you will agree with me, they look awesome with the, with the tan sidewalls there. Now for sure, coming away from what I'm used to, this thing doesn't quite have the same versatility as many other kind of adventure bikes. Crucially, missing some of the mounts you need for racks uh, for that real bike packing setup. However, for me, with a more race focus year and with that amazing tail fin setup, which I'm really lucky to have on the back, it's not necessarily so much of an issue as it may be for others. So let me tell you, first impressions, this thing is quick. And despite the fact that this thing has gravel tires, Obviously, it still weighs in at a really, really competitive 7.73 in a size large 
which this one is, but it's certainly not going to be slowing me down on the hills. Speaking of tyre width, this thing is set up with 38 mils, but it's actually limited due to the frame itself to 42 mil tyres. So that's one thing to bear in mind. It certainly won't be up to putting massive, massive big mountain bike tyres in. By the way, I hope you guys are impressed that I'm doing this rundown on gravel. It seems rather fitting to me, but anyway. When it comes to the bar, the bike comes with stock with something called a J-bar, which is the split trowel-like bar. And I've opted against that and instead opted for the Rode Zero Carbon Monarch one-piece bar. The reason I did this was to get a position much more like my road bike. One thing that I noted on this bike pretty early on was that it's just so clean. All of the cables are rooted internally, which is of course great for me, not so great for my mechanic if I was ever to have any issues. The technology from the carbon construction comes directly from Willia's other two road bikes in the Philante and the Zero. They've actually copied the exact same carbon layup. Interestingly, when I was consulting my friend BikeFit James, upon choosing which size to get, I was split pretty evenly down the middle of a medium and a large. And in the end, I went for the large here, just because I thought it would suit me a little bit better in the end with the geometry and the fact that I could put a 110 equivalent stem on the front end and get it quite close to the position that I'm used to. For those of you who are wondering, is it set up tubeless? Yes, it is. I was uh, converted after the tracker race. So overall, if you're looking for one bike that ticks all of the boxes, this really is it. You're probably not gonna find a bike that does it all quite as well as this one. And what I think is great is that if you did have two sets of wheels, you could have one set up for gravel, one set up for road with road tires, just interchange between the two, no need for a second frame set. And that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing with this thing until my road wheelie turns up later this summer. Anyway, that is enough on my wheelie. If you did have any questions about this specific bike, or in fact about my new partnership, then please do write them down in the comments below and I'll try my best to get back to them. But until then, I'm off to Manchester tonight to watch one of the rounds of the Tour Series, see all the guys in action, and uh, we'll see you there. I was speaking to one of the organizers, John, and they were saying you and Ed Clancy are split on like being the most successful tour series rider ever. It's real close, isn't it? Yeah, I think I, I've got 11 individuals and he's got 10. So yeah. I think that counts. He's probably won more team <laughs> overalls. I think he said five versus your three. No, I've I won think, three. I think. But I've won sprint jersey. I don't think Ed's there, ever there won you sprint go. jersey. There you go. So you could argue. Yeah, surely. <laughs> and, when I'm, and when we've been teammates, I've always beaten Ed. There you so go. So I reckon that counts, yeah. yeah. I think it can. And some of the wins that Ed's won, I've let him out. There you go. Is that the, the thing tonight? Is it last one? Last tour series, yeah. Not last race this year, but last. Last tour series. Yeah. So it, does, it bring a, does it bring a tear to your eye? I, don't know, or is I, it I think actually, yeah, I will miss it. But um, I'm hoping that because it's the last one, it won't be. I only know I have to try hard for the next hour. <laughs> so then I'll be like, after this, I don't, have to, I don't have to go this hard again. Exactly. And yeah. everyone's going to be nice to you because, you know, yeah. Last one. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Four corners. Four corners. Plenty of time to, for people to dive bomb. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very good. What is it? It's not um, It's a milk one. <laughs> it's not like chocolate, it. man. Is it? <laughs> I think it's just shit coffee. To be honest. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. Ages, mate. New kit. Look at those New shorts. Kit. Oh my god. It flashed the old black stuff. Good. In Enjoy Manchester. Enjoying the rounds. This tour series this year. Ah, they've been okay. Yeah. Tour series is tour series, isn't it? I guess it's you know, a lot of travel and you're eat loving crap. it. You're loving wow. it. Yeah. Almost finished now. Almost, Almost done. Last one. So yeah. <laughs> So I made it up here to Manchester for the tour series. I've got this very special bib on that gets me in all the places I need to go to get the shots. Getting some stuff on behalf of uh, the women's team, Cam's Basso. And yeah, really cool little circuit here in Manchester. Just over one kilometer long, I believe. Four corners, pretty simple. It's gonna be a fast evening. Yeah. 